4,000 people dead and 7,000 more injured in that powerful earthquake that decimated parts of Nepal. New tonight, we're talking to a local family with loved ones in the destruction zone. West 2's Chris Hush has their emotional story and jarring pictures. It seems unreal at this point because it's all the things that I've grown up with and constantly seen in my lifetime. Now it's all rubble. We go through photo after photo taken exclusively by family members and friends of Asatush Piacarel and Ticket Rawel. Both have grandparents, uncles, and aunts that survived the massive Nepal earthquake. Both now watching horror from their classrooms at UCF. About like 200, uh, 250 people were there and all people died. When you look at that picture, how does that make you feel? All the destruction? Uh, yes, uh, so um, tears just coming in my eyes. Both were also born and raised in the Nepal region and know how fragile the infrastructure is. So the old buildings, they were completely made from the mud. They have very weak foundations. Here's the result. This is a before and after picture taken by a family member. What was once a World Heritage Site has been reduced to rubble. It's part of our identity that's now crushed. With no power, Piacarel says communication is minimal with his aunts and grandparents who are constantly rattled by aftershocks. As the death toll rises, nearing 4,000, he watches for updates on Facebook, hoping more relief is on the way. Hopefully we, we build from this and we're stronger than ever. Chris Hush, West 2 News.